All right, people, welcome back to the channel. It's everybody builds his favorite day of the week. It is arm day. <laughs> but I uh, know for real, arm day is usually um, still intense, but I consider it one of my stronger body parts. And I always truly believe that even though you got a strong body part, you still want to train it to keep it that way. So a little bit of arms for you guys today. So a little buys, a little bit of tries. And you guys will see how, how I do my routine. I go from buy to try, the buy to try, where some people like to do all arms and then go to all triceps. For me, I always believe that if I'm going to hit my biceps, right, hit it hard, I want to kind of give it a little bit of break, a little recovery before I go into the next bicep movement. So after biceps, I go to triceps and then vice versa. So you guys will see how we get down today. But if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, drop a comment. We'll keep this, rolling, keep this content rolling for you guys. Let's get started. Let's go. All right, warming things up. But, um, I always like to get things warmed up before I go into any you know, heavier compound movement. So for triceps for me, I always believe that the rope push down has always been very convenient for me. And we got this awesome Dynatech piece here to do our uh, push downs. All right. With arms, honestly, guys, it's all dependent on the person as far as the rep range. You know, for me, when it comes to arms, I've found that, that anywhere between 12 and 15 usually the best for me. And um, I still like to use a good amount of weight, good poundages, but I also want to get a good contractions and make sure I keep that rep range, again, around 12 to 15. So if that means me decreasing the weight, lighten the load a little bit, so be it. Oh, man. Also, something I didn't mention, um, where I'm at in my career right now, again, I have areas that I really want to focus on, and that, like if I mentioned, chest is a big focus for me. And for that, I've decided to train chest twice per week, which means I have to eliminate something in the mix. So I haven't had a full arm day in a very long time. <laughs> so again, working with John Meadows, we sat down, we put together a routine that we felt was good for me. And again, working with John, we noticed that the two areas that were very dominant were one my arms and two my shoulders. So as I mentioned in one of my videos, last last video, um, what I do with shoulders is I'll sprinkle it on at the end of my chest day. So if you guys do uh, a push day, you go chest and shoulders. For me, when it comes to arms, um, I usually do biceps at the end of my back day and triceps at the end of my second chest day. Um, but again, once in a while, like I did my shoulder video, I do have to go in and have one full arm day. Again, just kind of get more direct work. So again, I'll go two or three weeks with the push-pull split where I tackle on by triceps at the end of a workout. But there is that time where it's like, hey, I just want to give it a full arm day, and that's what I'm doing today for you guys. Feels good. Rest breaks for sure, usually a little bit, lush, a little bit shorter too with arms, usually 45 seconds to a minute. More blood, let's go. More in there, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, another drop. I'm for the road. Let's go. Oh, come on. Three, two, come on. Oh. For me personally, the goal is to get as much blood in there, muscle as fast as possible, and get the hell out of the gym. So, first exercise, row push down is done. I just want to get my, my elbows warmed up before I go into any type of skull crusher movements or heavy push downs, just to make sure everything's feeling good. 
Now, we're gonna move into biceps. Uh, I start my biceps off with uh, concentrated, concentrated curls on an incline bench, getting a full stretch and full contraction. This is a movement that you don't need a lot of weight for, guys, because you can risk an injury if you, if you simply go too far in the stretch position. So the goal is to kind of control that move at the bottom, still get a good amount of stretch there, and really drive and squeeze that bicep at the top. That's what we're gonna do next. Let's go. <sighs> we're, uh, we're a tighter shirt for you guys today. You're welcome. <laughs> oh man. There it is. Oh man. Fresh up so so tight. <laughs> oh man. Feels great though. close to the show you know screw that I've got a hundred thousand views on this video the next arm video I will do in a tank top <laughs> now I don't know if I got I got any tank tops at home you guys you guys want to wear them but I will find a tank top and wear it for the next arm video guys again <laughs> if this video gets a hundred thousand views so hey if you guys want to see it make it happen <laughs> <clears throat> So generally, again, depending where I'm at in prep and how I'm feeling, how things are going, generally I'll pick three to four exercises per. So three of my favorite biceps, three of my favorite triceps, and of course at the end of all that, I gotta throw in forearm movements. And that's something people always ask, how to get your forearms the way they are, and blah, 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 how long do you, I've always trained my forearms. Again, I'm a big believer that if it has muscle, train it, all right? And I've been training forearms since, I started competing back in 2005, and um, just, just, just simple stuff. Yo, I'm gonna do it today for you guys, with some wrist curls, some reverse curls. I have an awesome hammer grip, uh, grip machine. We'll do that today as well. But uh, again, guys, if it's a muscle, train it. So, here it is. We're gonna train some form for you guys today as well. Show you how I got these uh, Popeyes. Definitely have to good. Definitely have, have to have good mind muscle connection with your uh, with yourself, man. Just to know how far you can push things without risking injury. This is a good weight for me here, 40 pounds. Um, so I'm probably gonna stick here for finish this set, rest, and then do it again, and try to shoot for the same rep range, if not more. But 40 is a good number for me here. I can feel it. So once you feel it, you just know. I'm trying to go up. Two, one of two things can happen. One, my form could be completely off and I don't even get the connection that I want. And two, the worst of the worst, I go down and boom, they tear your biceps. It's the last thing you want to do. So, work smarter, not harder, people. <laughs> Oh, 
Here it is. Yeah, that was good. All right. Woo! Next move we're going into. Um, tricep extensions using the dumbbells here on a slight incline. Um, people, some people call it skull crushers, tricep extensions, whatever you want to call it. Just putting the triceps in a really good stretch position before coming up and getting a really good contraction at the top. That shit? I can't reach the motherfucker. God damn it. Oh shit. Ah. You know how hard it will get back up? Ah. I'm gonna get bombed on YouTube for that one. <laughs> you gonna put like some, some circus music around this motherfucker. <laughs> That's real, people. That is absolutely real. It is a struggle. You should see me put my socks on in the morning. stretch and then that contraction at the top is like you fight that gravity man throughout the whole entire movement you're coming down controlling so it doesn't smash your face and then having to really fight from that bottom position all the way up and because you're against this pad you don't have anything else working with you that's all the triceps at that point in time so definitely a great movement definitely something I utilize pretty much every single week whether it be on the bench or just standing up by itself, doing a single overhead extension. Great movement for really packing on that size and that thickness of your triceps. you call a flight or flight set or uh, set right there that 50 definitely wanted to fight me there but I wasn't gonna let it win fight with all my might but at the same time kept that core tight everything controlled and really fought that wrap up using the entirety of my tricep to get it up all right next movement an oldie but definitely a goodie. Just standing uh, camber bar curls. And you guys, you know, for me, I'm all about just the basic heavy stuff, man. Nothing special, nothing fancy here. You know, everyone's got their, again, I mentioned their way of training. Some people love to train just strictly on cables and machines when it comes to arms. And that is absolutely phenomenal. I think that's great. I've always said is I have, you guys know I use machines all the time. I'm a big advocate as well. There's a time and place for everything. But for me, my physique, the way I respond, that's what's important. How do I respond? I personally respond with more of the free weight stuff. You know, free weight, machines, bars, weights, the whole nine yards, all old school stuff. Again, this is, this is what I, I, I've only known for the past 20 years growing up. And in it, growing up when I did, 
I grew up with the guys in the 90s, man. I remember walking to New York Sports Club back in 2007. That's just two years after getting my feet wet. I walked in there, you got guys with the steel toe boots, sweatpants, hoodies, just guys are just monsters in there. And I wanted to learn, I was hungry to learn, I was eager to get better and improve, and then I picked each guy's brain and trained with each and one of them and kind of, you know, put it all together to where it worked for me. And again, I've watched the guys like Branch, Ronnie, Johnny, Dorian. Again, that era is what I grew up knowing and kind of what I followed and emulated and saw that's how my body responds. Again, I love the cables and machines. I think they absolutely have their place. But what's most important, I want you guys to realize is what, work, what works for you. Don't worry what I do. You could take what I do and try it and it may or may not work, but figure out what works best for your body. And that is the way to succeed and progress in your career. That one short at 12. Felt good, but I can definitely increase the weight a little bit. That's a good weight for me. Um, I don't want to start risking form and start jerking the weight up and utilizing everything but biceps. So we'll keep that weight there. I think I've used, I got 12 to 15 so far each set. So I'm gonna do my one more set there and try to shoot for, aim for that same rep range. I said best set. Now to um, another tricep variation. We're gonna go overhand uh, push downs. All right, so I think the last video I did this, everyone's asking about this bar. Uh, this is a very old, old piece. It is called the spreader bar. Um, I, they don't make this anymore, guys, fortunately. It's a great piece. I love the way that I can come down and this little handle actually moves with me so I'm able to really get a good contraction. And if it's really good, it's like D handles here um but the closest thing to this bar itself i believe prime makes one i don't believe i don't have the exact name it may be called a spreader bar as well but that's the only thing you probably find close to this piece right here Such a good feel, this bar. That was uh, my last heavy there. I'm gonna do a back down set. Uh, 
Next movement, we're going to do uh, back to biceps. Now we're going to focus more on the outside, what we know as the brachialis here. But um, typically I do with dumbbells. You know, it's pretty high, everyone does them, um, unless you have a cable, but like you can do them straight on here or you can go cross body. But thinking about it, again, I'm very like, I kind of make things happen on fly and kind of looking at certain things and pieces. I think I might have found a new, another way for me to hit that same area using um, a cable. So let's see if this works first. Let's check, let's check this out. So this is, as you guys see, this is a low row, strictly for back, right? Sit down, put your feet, cable attachments, the whole nine yards. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to see if this works. If it works, great. If not, no big deal. But I'm going to try something. Because I have a feeling it's going to feel good if I do it this way. So I'm going to hook up. So this bar is a V-bar push down typically for triceps. So I'm going to take it, attach it, and I'm going to flip it. Let me see if this, if I drop this down a little bit lower too. There we go. So this might work, guys. Check this out. Take that. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. See that? So this is the same position as the dumbbell and just, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that felt money. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. So, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna, how I was gonna feel, how I was gonna feel, if it was gonna work and it actually worked. I, I typically, I would do this on a cable uh, machine, but my machines aren't here yet. They should be here on Monday. So, you know, for the past four or five months, I've been kind of <laughs> rigging up workouts until I get everything in here that I need. But I've been making it happen, man. This is, again, it's the best I look, best I felt. And this is just on just 90% of what we have in here right now. Now, again, on Monday, we're bringing in 20, 20 new pieces total. And what you're looking at, we'll have a full crossover with five different cable stations, pull down row, crossover in the middle. Um, we got a, a regular dual stack that can do more cable work, presses, things like that. We got a decline, we got some more back, we got a hip press coming. We got about five or six different benches, different heights, different variations, incline, flat, utility bench, single arm preacher bench. Man, this place is gonna be packed out, jammed out, jam packed. I'm excited because then, really, I literally have pretty much every single thing I need. Again, I've been making do in here, making, you know, kind of just, you know, rigging things up to make it work, and it's been phenomenal. But once those pieces get in here on Monday, man, it's going to be a whole new ball game. Yeah, buddy. Arms gonna fall off. <sighs> Next tricep movement is gonna be push downs. Oh, using a uh, Star Trek push down machine there. <sighs> gonna finish up these triceps. Pretty smoked already. A lot of good variation here. Um, so, let's see what we got left. <laughs> see how much they got left. <sighs> Oh. 
Uh, what is it? Today's Friday. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, 12 weeks from today. 12 weeks from this time right now, literally, this time right now. I'm going to be competing on the 2024 Olympia stage. This is when prejudging starts, right about now. Um, it's a big year, man. I mean, every year is a big year, let's be real, but. It's the 60th, 60th anniversary of the Olympia. You know, I am, I am uh, if th things go the way as planned, I'll probably be the only <laughs> bodybuilder in history ever to have lost the title twice and won it back twice. Jay Cutler did it in 09. You know, he lost to Dexter in 08 and came back in 09 and won it. And I did the same thing, 2020 I, I won. 21 I lost to Lunsford, 2022 I won it back. Been fortunate last year, 23, I lost it to Yo Keon. So, again, if the things go well, God willing, we'll be able to win it back again. So that's the plan, that's the goal. Again, it's, this year is like, again, I, I am just like, I'm focused, I'm motivated, I'm eager, I'm excited. You know, this, 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 I say atmosphere is everything. And um, just being able to create this gym and have zero distractions. No one here, you know, breaking stuff, no one yelling, no, we play your own music. You come in, you go as you please. It's been just, it's just, again, you can't put a price tag on peace of mind, happiness, joy. It's a, it's a big thing, man. It's a big, and for someone like myself, that's, I'm very much about I like to be quiet during prep. I'm a very quiet person. I don't like a lot of noise. So like any little thing, which is like, ah, irked me a little bit. So literally it's, I come in here, open the door, do my thing, I get out. I get home and I'm just like, you know, one day better, one day closer, so. Biceps are smoked, like smoke ham. <laughs> oh, that was good, that was good, good tricep. Now we gotta finish up with one more bicep movement. We're gonna go with the old school bicelator from the 70s, right behind us here. The old glory. This thing's a tank. Probably one of the most rarest pieces just cause of this right here, flex. If you see that, you mean, you know, you know it's the real deal. Original paint on the white stack, head covers, original, original padding itself. I mean, man, this is awesome. Shout out to my guy, Tyler, man, Savage Iron, out there in Cali. He's the one that got me this and seven other awesome Star Trek pieces, flex pieces. Finishes. Stop fucking around. Let's go. With a double hand. Oh! 
Oh! Oh, shit. Oh! Arms. Ah! Bison and tries are done. Moving on to uh, forearms now. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I do for my forearms. Pretty simple to the point. Nothing fancy, but it works. Very simple. I mean, you can literally do these in your house if you have a dumbbell, and literally just find a chair. Doesn't have to be a bench. You can do a kitchen chair, dining chair, whatever. Step in your house, whatever. <sighs> to perform these, take the dumbbell. You want your wrist to literally sit at the edge of your knee. This way, when you're going, you're extending, you're extending it or stretching. It falls it over your knee and pulls right back up. up. <clears throat> right here. Stretch. Oh! Try to shoot for that 15 to 20 range with a good amount of weight. Right here, that's what I'm working. Right here, see it? through here. Train your forearms, people. It's important. Don't leave them lagging. You can't have these big ass biceps and these little ass forearms. It just don't look right. So I know I'm gonna get this question too. So how frequently do you train your forearms? You know, that's depending on you. I mean, when I first started, I was doing them damn near every other workout. But once I got to the point where I, I developed that muscle and it's there and, you know, now it's just about maintaining it once a week, maybe once every other week, because you got to realize one thing too, guys and gals, when you're training everything else, back, chest, arms, whatever, you're having to brace and grip that pad, I mean, that bar, that dumbbell, that whatever. And what are you doing while you're doing that? You're still working that forearm. All right, so that is definitely getting some work. And if you're someone who doesn't like to use straps on back day and things like that, you get a little bit more extra help there as well. But I've always been a believer in direct work. All right, like I said, with arms, you're getting, you're getting a little bit of arms on back day. You're getting a little bit, you know, triceps on chest day. Great, but you still got to train the muscle by itself. You still need direct work. And uh, forms is one thing I've never, never lagged on training. <laughs> Keep that weight for there. 50 is good today. All right, let's go. So that's uh, what we do, two sets, three sets of uh, wrist curls there. Now I'm gonna move on to the grip machine. There is pretty much, I'm gonna do a cluster there. Uh, cluster is pretty much, do your works first work set, try to get anywhere between 12, 15, 20, whatever your number is. Rest about 15 and 20 seconds, do another set, try to, try to shoot for as many as you can. Rest another 15 seconds, try to shoot for another however many you can. So that's literally 
depending on how many sets you're doing, three to four all out sets in a matter of less than a minute, really. So let's go there and finish up the day. All right. Gripper. Another rare piece. <laughs> Not too many gyms have it. But I was always a fan of it, and um, I always wanted one. And uh, I used to use this every day at my old home gym, Signature Fitness. We had one that everyone walked right past it because they know what the hell it did. But I always knew what it was, and I always used, utilized it when I'm training forearms. So definitely something I had to have here. All right, let's go. So literally, you just see here, I'm going to right through the thumbs, grabbing here, <laughs> locking in place, and just squeeze. You can see the forearms working. Oh. 15 seconds, four, three, two, five, oh. oh. 15 seconds again. Three, two, one, 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 Oh. Whoa! Oh shit. Whoa. So if you're doing this right, if you did this right, when you go to make a fist, it's gonna be nearly impossible to squeeze. That's what Zach gonna feel right now. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That's arm day for you guys. Uh eight of my favorite, I guess, go-to exercises for Bys and tries, and of course, forearms. Again, it's a strong body part, but I still like to train it once in a while by itself, like we did today. You know, I'm, I'm very basic old school when it comes to pretty much everything I train, back, arms, chest, whatever the case may be. I'm all about the barbells and the dumbbells and just compound movements. But again, I'm a big fan and an advocate and truly believe that machines and cables absolutely have their place in your training. Um, but again, being where I'm at in prep, and I still got some good time. So I'm still utilizing a good amount of carbs. Got a lot of amount of good amount of food in my system. You know, I'm not really at the point of fatigue yet. I want to utilize those compound movements even more because I know that for me personally is what my body responds best to and what gives me that grainy, hard, full, dense look aside from obviously my age, what we call man muscle or muscle maturity. Um, that's just something that comes with time and age, guys. But uh, that was arms for you guys. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed that content. You know, I hope you guys are enjoying the content overall. We're trying to just fire off as much as we possibly can, bring you guys into my world and kind of what I do and how I prepare for the biggest bodybuilding stage, body, biggest bodybuilding show in the world, being the Mr. Olympia. And um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. It's going to be a crazy, crazy ride. And uh, if you guys haven't done so, you want to subscribe to the channel now because I promise you, you're not going to miss any of this. See you guys for the next one.